Welcome back. Good to catch up with Michael Andre from Westside Pest Control. I feel like every summer you are here, we have to put the call out because there are some culprits we need to deal with come summer season. And uh, fruit flies front and center on this. Yes. Yeah, fruit flies are always an issue. I'm sure lots of people have seen them in their kitchens or on their bananas and in their compost under the sink. Um, you, uh, you really want to keep the fruit off the counter or the really ripe fruit to off the counter. I was away, came back after five days, and this pineapple was, it was just a fruit fly breeding haven. There was hundreds of them on the, on the pineapple. Got rid of that, and they were gone within a few days. Okay. So but, you've got some traps set up yeah, to kind of avoid this. Yeah, but to catch okay. some of the live ones, yeah, you want to set up some traps. And it's nothing fancy. Vinegar, these are some aftermarket traps, but you can make them yourself. Cut some holes in the top of a yogurt container or something like that. And uh, all you got to do is put a little... Put a little vinegar in there. You don't need a lot. The flies just get attracted through those holes and they get st stuck and drowned in the vinegar. These things are absolutely amazing. Keep one next to your fruit, one underneath the sink next to your compost, your fruit flies will be virtually gone. So what's the difference between fruit flies and then the drain flies? Yeah, so people often mistake drain flies for fruit flies. Drain flies, all flies need decaying organic matter, usually fruit or compost. In this case, it's just stagnant water build up in the pipes underneath the sink. Horrible job. It's not something you want to do. However, shut the water off. If you're a little bit handy or just jump on YouTube, see how do I unscrew a, uh, uh, a drain under the sink? You can unscrew it clean out this nasty mess in there. That's where they're harboring, that's where they're breeding. If your drains are cleaner than the sink, your drain flies again will be non-existent. Okay, so try with the counter first if they're still popping up. Absolutely, if this stuff drain. isn't working, hit the drain. Okay, now the mosquitoes are always a culprit we have to deal with. You've come up with a concoction to protect and, and keep us safe, yes? Well, you know what, a friend of mine actually, uh, um, she makes her own sunscreen and body body lotion and she put tea tree oil in, in, in one of them and, and noticed as a positive effect that the bugs weren't coming near. And I tried it and it, it actually works. Um, one thing a lot of people are doing this summer, it's been really hot. Everybody's using tons of this stuff, sunscreen. Sunscreen has a fragrances in it. All of these things, including the sunscreen, are going to attract mosquitoes. So if you're applying loads of sunscreen and then at the end of the day you're slathering bug spray on top of that, it's a good idea to get yourself clean if you can. If you're camping somewhere where you, you, know, you have a shower available to you, um, the fact that they like these things means after three days of camping you might not be seeing as many bugs anyways because a clean person actually attracts more bugs than somebody who hasn't showered in a few days. <laughs> now the great debate of how many times you're going to shower. Okay, so put some tea tree oil in the sunscreen and avoid the, uh, the scented uh, uh, Absolutely. Lotions and fragrances all together. The wasps, uh, wasps, what are the like the breeding areas for finding wasps in and around the house and how do we get rid of them? Uh, well, wasps can come up in a number of places. I just noticed a nest the other day on my own house. They were going in underneath the eaves and these are the kind of spots people don't realize right away. So they might have a bunch of wasps out on their, out on their patio and they're like, where are these guys coming from? If you can spot them, great. If you can get a professional to spot them, great. If you're not sure, maybe they're coming from a neighboring house or, or something, uh, wasp traps are awesome. And if you're going to buy them, those ones, those ones are the best. There's lots of them out there. They, they were great. Homemade traps are also great. This is just an aloe vera bottle. Cut it. Something sweet, any kind of, any kind of juice. Mm -hmm. And uh, just fill this up. The wasps are going to be attracted to the trap and not want to come near the wine, the steak, the barbecue. Um, don't put it on the table. Place it 10 or 15 feet away from where you want to be wasp free. Electrolytes are your best friend when it comes to wasp control. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Okay, Mike Laundry has spoken. Some ideas to uh, curb the culprits in and around your place. Nice to see you. Thanks so much for coming by.